trying to build a bridge across a lake, but we can't figure out how wide the lake is because we can't just walk across the lake to, to measure it. And so it says that these engineers measure from a point on land that is 280 feet from one end of the bridge, 160 feet from the other. And then the angle between these two lines is 80 degrees. And from that, we're supposed to figure out what the bridge will be, or how long the bridge will be. So lots of words here. It's a little confusing when you first encounter this because there's just so many words here and there's no picture at all. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is to draw a picture. So I have no idea what shape this lake is really, but I'm just going to draw a picture like that. And then I know that these engineers are trying to build a bridge across it. And so let's say that that's one end of the bridge right there and that's the other end. And they measure from a point on land that is 280 feet from one end of the bridge and 160 feet from the other. And it says the angle between these two lines measures 80 degrees. So now if you look at this, what I have is a triangle. And more than that, I have two sides and the included angle of a triangle. So I have a side angle side situation. And I know that, that's, that that gives me a unique solution as long as my angle is less than 180 degrees. And of course, 80 is less than 180 degrees. So I know I have a unique solution. I'm trying to find the length of that third side. Now, if you have side angle side and you need the third side, that's definitely the law of cosines. So I'm going to label that third side little c and call this capital C. Label the other sides A and B. And now the law of cosines. The law of cosines is my friend here. c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of capital C. We know everything there except for little c. So I'm just going to plug in the quantities that I know and reduce down and solve for little c. So let me plug in c squared. Don't know that yet. Uh, a squared is 160 squared plus b squared is 280 squared minus 2 times 160 times 280 times the cosine of capital C. The angle is 80 degrees. Uh, I don't know exactly what that is, but I can find that on my calculator. Uh, two, uh, 160 squared is 25600. Zero, zero. Um, 280 squared is 78400. And now 2 times 160 times 280, I worked that out as 89600. And the cosine of 80, I'll do that on my calculator. Remember to put your calculator in degree mode if that's what you're using here. A lot of people have their calculator set in radian mode. And then that gives you strange answers because your calculator would be interpreting that as 80 radians. So it's very important to set your calculator to 80 degrees. And cosine of 80 degrees is 0.174. So let's see, 25,600 plus 78,400 is 104,000. 89,600 times 0.174 is 15,559. And so, oh, that, that's approximate, of course. Um, and so if we simplify that, we get 88,441. That's c squared. So I take the square root of that. c is approximately equal to 
297.4, and our unit of measurement here is feet. So I give my answer in terms of feet. So let's recap what made that one work. We were given this kind of long paragraph full of words, and it's a little hard to discern what we're supposed to be doing. Um, first thing we see is, OK, we're, it's a lake, so I draw just a random lake. It's a bridge across a lake, so I, I draw a picture. That's really the, the key idea is to draw a picture. So I drew my, my bridge across the lake here. That, that's the bridge right there. And then it says we measure from a point that is 280 feet from one end of the, of the bridge and 160 feet from the other. So I drew that point and I filled in the 160 and the 280. And then it gave me the angle between those two lines, so I filled that in. Now all of a sudden I've got a standard triangle problem. Um, and moreover, I've got a triangle problem where I know two sides and the angle in between them. And what I want to find is the third side of the triangle. So that's definitely a law of cosines problem. So I write down my law of cosines. I fill in all the quantities that I know. Then I simplify down, and I solve for the answer on that.